Hello everyone this is Ultimate Public Entertainment. Hello ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to another interesting episode of Karen Shenanigans. Take a look. The audacity of some people is beyond me. Can you imagine this Karen walking up to someone's property to tell the person what sort of sign they should put up in front of their home or what type of laws should they support? Take a look at this. Is this your house? Oh no, Karen. I just live in the doorbell. Ridiculous. Keep watching. Why are you asking me that? It's what? Why are you asking me that? Because I'm at your door and because I am canvassing for issue one. I'm going to vote for uh, my morals on that day. I, 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 there are, is... you, are you adjusting my sign in my front yard, I guess is what I'm asking. No, I was taking a picture of your sign because it's wrong. Your sign says vote yes please on exit issue my property one, or vote yes on please November my, 7th, and it's please, an Ohio right. Please exit my property immediately. I have okay. every single Did angle you know of my property a, reported. That's a fake sign. That's, Thank that's you. That's a fake sign. I, I love my I'm fake sign. It's my favorite fake, fake sign. sign. So you're good. This is not legislation. It's an amendment. It's an amendment. It's, it's not legislation. You do understand what legislation means, have right? A choice now. Legislation is passing a law. This allows us to pass a law that's been voted on in the it's legislature. A it's a legislation bill. That's it's literally legislation. I have a degree it's in this. It's not a law. It's an amendment. It, it is an amendment to the Constitution of the state. The Constitution of the state outlines laws. But laws are legislation. I have a degree in this. I'm going to send. I'm going to send a picture of your sign to. You will hire right to life and give them your address and leave it up to them, whatever. Are you are you threatening me? Because if that's the case, I have you on a recorded uh, camera right here. I'll make sure I report you. I'll have the incident report to the police department tonight. Thank you. First of all, I cannot imagine myself standing right there and arguing with someone over a ring doorbell. And secondly, Karen is definitely in the wrong for threatening that guy to get him to vote the way she wants her to vote that is illegal up next we've got a kevin at a local post office stating that he pays the salaries of the employees at the post office because he is a taxpayer. Take a look at this shenanigans. Wearing a thirty thousand dollar ring. They got time for these jokers I'm trying to mill a five dollar package. And I employ you with my tax dollars. Pay county taxes. Unacceptable. Unacceptable. I'm not going to pay for a free. Hey, what's Hi. up? How are you? Are you help me with my wife. Good to see you again. What's going on? You want to talk to me? They won't mail. No, they won't mail this. I'm going to stand here. I'm a taxpayer. I want this mail. It's okay. free. Okay, can we talk about No, I'm going to mail it. Why are you not a Nico? I pay federal tax dollars. I'm a county employee of Fairfax. Number two, I employ you and I employ her. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? This is federal property. She is not the postmaster. Why are you She's a. Why are you on Amiibo? I want to mail my package. Okay, can I call you? It costs $5. I will not. I will stand here. Call your superior. I'm going to talk to her about what's going on. You're not going to let me mail this? It's free. Enough, enough, enough. No. Were you going to tase me? What? Did he just say, are you going to tase me? 
This guy is definitely a moron for real. Keep watching. No, right now I'm talking to her about what's going on, and you yelling at me isn't helping me get to the issue any faster. I need to deal with both of you. This is really sad. I cannot imagine how someone like this will treat his family, especially his wife. Unbelievable. Picture this. You order a meal at a fast food restaurant's drive through After unwrapping your burger, you find a used Band-Aid in the burger. What would you do? Or better still, how would you react? Take a look at this. What you not understand? These people just sold me a burger with a Band-Aid in my sandwich. Let me see. Right here, look. You think I'm playing with you? Oh, yeah. Band-Aid. Look, right here. You think I'm playing with you? I uh, know. He didn't just touch that Band-Aid. That's crazy. Keep watching. Oh, and this man and this manager is just serving people. Still serving people after I just told her that there's a Band-Aid in there. Like, that's what people are not understanding. That's what's really making me mad right now. Like, you're really about to piss me off. You just took two people's money. No, she just took two people's money. I'm reporting. She just took two people's money after I just told you that I just had a Band-Aid in here. Go check the cameras, ma'am. Like, you, I just told you that. Everybody who's wearing gloves, there's no way Band-Aid could have fell off. Bro, my, bro, like, bro. Did they refund you? No, she hadn't even given me my money or nothing. She served two people and she has not done nothing you're not understanding right now like i'm really trying to keep it calm with you you've served two people more food after i found a band-aid in my food i just told you that you're serving two more people like what is going on right now like am i am i being unreasonable ma'am like there's a band-aid in my sandwich and nobody can serve me what you serving all these people more food I was just in the driveway. Look at the time. Look at the time. I was just in the driveway. And I just drove home and I just came back. You think this is a game? You think I'm making up something for two cheeseburgers? You think I drove back up here to, to play with you over two cheeseburgers? I'm not playing with you. I'm not playing with you. No. And you just served two more people in my face. After you told me it was serious. Is it really serious, man? Y'all got me f***ed up. No, you got me f***ed up. Oh, what's going on? Sure, I don't know what's going on. Uh, I already heard what you said. I apologize. I don't know what happened. Okay, I don't know what happened. There's no need for you to report me. Apparently there is because of, because she was just serving two people more food I after I told her that there was. I am talking to you. I don't know what happened over there. I will deal with that later. Okay, right now. Is it your money? To yes, give me my money. Give me my, no, I don't want no sandwich from y'all, mother. I want you to figure out who got a bloody. Go check right now. Because there must have been one of y'all mother got a band-aid in this mother and that's not okay. And I'm out here trying to be cool with this lady. I swear to God I was trying to be cool with this lady and she's just in here serving two more people. No. What's going on? Check the cameras for me, sir. Are you the manager? Okay, let's go sit down somewhere where we don't have to go and there's nowhere? There's nowhere to sit? Okay, so uh, what am I what do I do now? I'm gonna have to go and file a lawsuit against you guys? Okay, I'm gonna call this number. What's your name, sir? Jerry. What's her name? Ani. Ani? Mm -hmm. And your name is Jerry? Yes. Okay, so do you understand that this lady just served two people after I told her that there was a band-aid right here? I'm just asking you if you understand. I understand. Okay. Okay. So what are you going to do about it? Are you going to keep serving people? What I do, I cannot tell you. Okay. Bet. Okay. That's fine. Bet. Okay. Y'all bugging in here. After watching the clip, do you think production should have stopped as insisted by the customer? Also, do you think he was just trying to make things up? in order to file a lawsuit against that fast food restaurant. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Please take your time to watch this clip of a Kevin who walks into a woman's place of business and started using her clipper to cut his hair. You will not believe what happened next. Take a look at this drama. Okay, we
you gotta leave. No. You gotta put that down and leave. Seriously? Shoot the the electricity off. You should see me all right. But I didn't get you. Okay. 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 Hey, don't just dangerous. <laughs> hey, that's what you can do. We're gonna keep going so you don't look too stupid. Help her. Get out. I guess tell me what to do. The more you tell me what to do, the more things are going to stay the same. Do don't Alex, parate y vente rápido. No le hables, ignóralo. Haz que no lo oyes. No le recla, no le ignóralo. Que nos meten y que lo laquean. Ay no, por eso pensé que lo iban a laquear adentro. Mira. Oh, he's just stealing something. Later. Oh, he's running now. 
So do you think Kevin was able to get away or he was arrested and charged? I would definitely make sure to keep you posted when I get that information. In this next clip, we've got a Kevin recording himself to show all the reasons why he should be getting a parking ticket even though he doesn't think so. Take a look at this drama. All right. Okay, now who am I talking to? Now? Correct. All right, perfect. We'll start from the beginning. Mm -hmm. Officer Swift, badge 172. Mm -hmm. I'm stopping right now to give you a ticket because you're parked in front of a fire hydrant mm -hmm. in a no parking zone. You want to just get the get the hydrant on camera. But, okay, we can get the hydrant on camera. Hydrant on camera. Mm -hmm, okay. Correct. All right, so mm -hmm. you have your license registration insurance on you? Um. Once again, now, what do I need a license and registration for? For identification reasons? Yes. And why do you want to identify me? Well, you're in a no parking zone in front of a hydrant. Um, but... So this can go one uh, two ways. Yeah, yeah, it could. Right? It could it go can. one two ways. It can. Right? It can. You can say, mm -hmm. all right, here you go. I go back to the truck. Mm -hmm. Your information's good. Mm -hmm. Are you here? Am I committing a crime? Up? Am I committing a crime? I don't think he's committing a crime, but... It's a parking violation, though. Keep watching. You're picking someone up. Am I committing a crime? All right, that's what you're gonna do. It, no, I'm. I'm giving you. I'm giving Sit you eyes. Okay, that's fine. Okay, can we get a supervisor to the scene, please? Right, right. A second. Do I see what? The fire hydrant. And I need you. Can you can you repeat your um badge number and your name one more time as well? I already gave it to you. Sir. Could you? See, pardon me. You identify yourself. Huh? You didn't identify yourself. You want me to identify myself right now? My name is Yusuf. Excellent. Okay. Your last name and date of birth. My name is Yusuf. You asked me to identify myself. Okay. I gave you my first name. Perfect. Now, what is your name and your badge number again? Here. No, excuse, could you say it for the camera, please? I already gave it to me. I need you to say it again because I don't remember. So now you're telling me I'm required to repeat it to you six times? No, what I'm telling you is if I'm having a conversation you. with you. I tried helping you. What is your name? Wait. D Vasquez 199, badge number 199. D Vasquez. What you talking about? Come on, man. The cops are being so nice and calm. But this guy, he's just escalating the whole situation. Unbelievable. But keep watching. I'll go figure out who I am real quick. Excuse me. Are you the sergeant? Uh, just... Step below, Sergeant. I'm on the phone with the Sergeant right now. I'm May I get your name and your badge number two since you're on the scene? Yeah. Uh, Officer Pesh, badge number 452. Officer? Pesh? Nice to meet you, boss, man. Nice to meet you. Is your camera on as well? Yep. Thank I don't yeah. see nothing beeping. That's why I don't see the red light flashing off or nothing like that. It's hard to see you in the sunlight. Oh, but if it is, I appreciate you. I'm calling for my safety as well. All right. Appreciate you, boss. Are you waiting for somebody to pick up? Um, 
waiting for somebody to pick up? Yeah. It really well, doesn't. Someone pulls in here, it, 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 someone to pick up. Yeah, I'm just waiting. All right. You just Doing nothing illegal. No, it's no, a traffic no. violation. No, yeah. And you're trying to give me a trying to give me a ticket and run my license for what? You want me to show you? Huh? You want me to show you? What you want you me to keep recording now? Huh? You gotta keep recording now. What you want to show me? I already I recorded the fire hydrant. This is the sergeant right here, Sergeant O'Neill. Sergeant O'Neill, how you doing, boss man? How you feeling today? What's up, boss? Well, I have your I have your uh. Are you pulling out? Are you pulling out violations? Well, um, I have your officer right here. Your workers right here, yep. trying to give me a ticket right, because, right, because right. I'm parked by a fire hydrant. Yeah, back up because I never said I was giving you a ticket, right? Y yes, you did. Oh, I got you recorded. All right. We we we, we can bring it back all over. Don't worry. We can we can we can we can yeah we can bring it back all over again. We having a, we having a civil well, conversation. Recording. Come on. Late, but keep going. Stop. You you think so? Right. You wanted me here to speak. To aren't me. you? Oh, wait. Aren't you serving me? You wanted to talk to a supervisor. I'm here now, so talk to me. Correct. Okay. What's up? Uh, could you get him in line first, please? We're, we're past that. Talk to me. What's up? All right. So basically what I'm telling your officer is he shouldn't be giving me a ticket at all. And I told him right now you I'm charging you 2000 every minute you have me here. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Personally, I'm going to come after you personally. Okay. You understand what I'm saying? Well, for, for what? Stop. Go, go over there, Matt. Go over there. Personally. For what? I'm on his name. What's his name and his badge number one more time? I can't read that far. You, he, 172. 172? Yeah. His name? Officer Swift. Officer Swift? Okay. Yep. He's trying to give me a ticket. Yeah. For being here. He asked me for my license. What caused him for, for him to ask me for my license? Am I committing a crime? Uh, you're committing a violation. A violation? Yeah. Of what? You're parked in a no parking zone. Okay. And I'm sitting in the vehicle. It's in park, right? Okay. Okay. And what does that mean? That you're parked in a no parking zone. Okay, so that caused you a right to give me a ticket? Yeah, it's a parking ticket. It's like twenty. How is it? A, how, it, it doesn't matter what it is. Okay. And how about a parking ticket, like a uh, orange violation ticket? Uh, it doesn't like matter. I, I mean, it doesn't matter. Yeah. Right now, you contracting with me, and you're not going to give me a What's, ticket. What do you mean contracting? What do I mean contract? Right now, you come in trust fraud. fraud. Okay. I'm going to let you know that right now. Okay. Well, let me ask you, are you a sovereign citizen? No, I'm not at all. Okay. I'm American national. This guy actually thought he was doing something. Bruh, you are in the wrong. Just move your car and stop being a nuisance. Unbelievable. Finally. On this outrageous and interesting episode of Karen Shenanigans, we've got another Karen at a fast food restaurant creating a scene because of a mistake that was made on her order. Take a look at this drama. I've 
overcharged. She charged me twenty dollars. Listen. Deduct. Okay. Deduct one of these fries off. Take the fry off. Take this off. Now how the one medium fry bag, because two of them is seven eight seven eighteen. So that means that's they three sixty a piece. Take that off. And then the medium coat. So that's six dollars. It's over six sixty. Randy my bag, bro. Stop playing with me. I didn't even order that. Right? Me over here. And I'm waiting for my Uber. Hurry up. I'm waiting 30 minutes. Look, he's, look, he's stuck in my traffic right now. If he would have been here, waiting 30 minutes for some food. I'm going to get you fired. Yeah, you Twisted. I'm from the hood that you in right now. Did you beat the? Back in weirdo. Matter of fact, I'm gonna come back and beat you up. I don't like your attitude. That you got. For no reason. Uh, can y'all have some sauce? Can I get some ketchup and ranch? Thank you very much. Have a nice day. I don't care about that. Charge me. Run me back. Deduct my change because that I got the, the, the those tacos was from the dollar menu, so I'm owed like three dollars. So if you watch this video to the end, please do not forget to indicate in the comment section. Go home. And go cook your own meal, Karen. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, y'all.